animals. I have every one of these, as you can imagine, <laughs> in my garden. These, believe it or not, can go indoors or outdoors. They are faux moss animals. We have them for four payments of $7.95 today as one of our hot picks on the day. They're so soft and sweet, you just want to pet them. So here's the bunny, and I'm actually going to turn the bunny this way so you can see his little sweet face a little bit better. So there's his little ear up and down and his darling little face. Then we also have the frog right down here and he's charming as well. We also over here have puppy and we're calling him dog and then kitty which is right here. So I'll pick her up so you can see her a little bit better. There's the kitty cat. So these are heavy and substantial. I don't want you to think these feel like styrofoam or they're lightweight and going to blow over or get knocked over. Uh, these are uh, absolutely beautiful. Barb brought them into QVC as uh, kind of something modeled after a very popular item in her store, Valley Forge Flowers, which, by the way, has done the entire entrance to this year's Philadelphia Flower Show. So let's head out there and meet up with our good friend Barbara King. Hi, Barb. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Carolyn. It's so great to be here. It's so great to be here. The only thing missing is you standing next to me. We would have so much fun. These little critters look adorable in so many of the different gardens that are done around this amazing flower show. The best flower show, I think, in the world. The largest flower show in the whole U.S. of A. So that is what is pretty incredible. And I just love showing these moss animals to people here. They are flipping out over how cute and adorable they are. The moss is so wonderful. Moss is really, really hard to grow. So having a faux moss is awesome. It's so easy to put a piece like this out in your garden and just enjoy how adorable they are. The bunny, I call him Thumper, I've named all of them. And Carolyn has helped me with a lot of my ideas and garden design pieces, which are pretty awesome. Thank you, Carolyn. And this guy looks amazing all the way around. So wherever you put him in the garden, he's gonna give you a different texture. He's gonna go with everything because that green is truly, truly fabulous with everything you have in any of your decor. He looks great inside the house, outside the house. Have fun moving them around. They're nice, substantial pieces. They make an amazing centerpiece. But let me show you another one of my favorites. I'm gonna put the bunny down for a second. And I know, Carolyn, you helped me a lot with the design of this kitty. And this kitty is, I call this kitty with character. <laughs> he has a lot of attitude, or <laughs> she has a lot of attitude. She's sitting here with her paws just up in front of her, the tail curled around to the back. And no matter what angle you look at this kitty, this is going to look amazing wherever you put him. You're just going to know that you're going to have a little attitude. And trust me, you're going to want to pet these. They're so cute and cuddly, but have fun. Put them anywhere in your garden, inside or outside your house. And let me show you our frog. This frog has been incredibly popular with a lot of our customers at the flower shop. So we brought the frog here to you at QVC. And I think a lot of you are really enjoying Mr. Froggy. That cute little face, you definitely want to kiss the frog and find your prince with this guy. But I'd love you to see how incredible the detail came out in him. The moss, at first when we designed them, we're like, we have to make sure that you see all the features, the legs, even the backbone in this guy is pretty awesome. And everywhere you look, he's awesome. And these eyes and the smile, just unforgettable. So cute. Don't forget to kiss the frog. And the dog. This dog is so darn cute. At our farm, Carolyn, I put him out on one of the sofas that we have outside and he just is laying there greeting us there. But I was walking him around the flower show here and people were asking me, 
does the kitty and the dog get along? Absolutely. They're really well house trained too. So you're not going to have to do anything but pick a spot that you want some character, some personality, another dimension, another texture in the garden. And that's what we did here at the Philadelphia Flower Show. After we designed this with our 40 designers at the flower shop, the designers loved taking these pieces and looking at them in different areas of the garden. It's just so fun. It's a great picture that just makes you happy. How cute are they? Barbara, thank you so much. I just love that lady. She is so classy and so talented. Again, you can visit her in the Philadelphia area at Valley Forge Flowers in Wayne, PA, or today at the Flower Show. So this is typical of something that she would have in her shop. She has so many beautiful animal things. The only person I know who loves rabbit statuary as much as me is Barbara King. Um, this is something that is very difficult to do with natural moss, and you have to keep reapplying it and growing it. Uh, this is something that she's done in a faux fashion that is treated to be able to be left outdoors. And again, uh, they're beautiful enough to put into a very pretty spring display in your home. We actually have these with some uh, topiaries and pretty things above uh, our foyer. There's a shelf over our front door as you walk in and we have this all displayed up there, but they are great to have outdoors as well. They're made out of like a, I'm going to knock on the bottom, a composite. They're heavy, so not like a big concrete statue, but they are definitely heavy. They're not made out of something flimsy or like a, a, a something squishable on the inside. Here's the cat. Once again, Barbara's done a great job of all the beautiful features of the animals. Their paws are the right size. Um, the poses that they're doing, like this kitty looks like she just got finished licking her paw, or maybe she just dipped it into her water bowl and she's going to have a little uh, lick of her paw again and groom her pretty face. She's on the alert looking for any little critters that might cross her path. Um, the cat, pardon me while I put my glasses on so I can read the small print, I just want to give you guys some dimensions. So the cat is 10 inches uh, long seven wide and 14 inches high. Then here's the doggy. Now he's gonna be uh, 12 inches long, about a foot from front to back. And then he's about six and a half inches high. And he looks like so many cute puppies that are out there, specifically I think like a little Labrador puppy. Doesn't he look like that to you? And he's got his little tongue hanging out, as you can see right there. He's in repose, taking a doggy nap with his tail curled up. He just looked up because you pulled up the driveway. Mama's home. He's about ready to jump out of that seat and run out to see you. Now, frog, if you've got any kind of a water feature, he's a must have. Also, frogs mean good luck. So if you put this guy on your front porch, he's also a nice welcoming sign. And he looks really pretty in the garden, wherever you want to put him. And he's big enough. Most frog things that I've ever seen are really small and tiny, like a real frog. This guy, you'll really be able to see him. <clears throat> and again, you can see he's all also beautifully dimensioned all the perfect uh, size of legs and everything. And then the bunny, I love because this bunny rabbit, as you can see, his foot is up, giving his little ear a scritch, as we call it. A little scratchy, scratch, 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 scratch on his ear right there with his back foot. Um, he's uh, about ready to maybe nibble on another piece of that lettuce that you gave him or some clover from your garden. His little paws together in the front. And there he is from the other side. And his face is just darling. So the, the uh, size on the rabbit, is um, 11 inches high and nine and a half long. And then on the frog, um, do I have dimensions on the frog? Cat, dog, bunny, I don't. I'm not sure why that is, but he's about a foot long as well. So stay in the ordering process for our faux moss animals from Barbara King. Barbara King's shop on QVZ.com has many more fantastic products for you.